Hey everyone, it's MJ, the student actuary, and in this video, I'm going to answer a student's question. Now, the question is as follows. Can I study actuarial science if I'm a Muslim? And my answer is, I don't know. But, but I didn't make this entire video just to say that. If anything, this question fascinates me and I really want to know the answer. So I'm hoping that the comment section below can actually be a place for a fruitful discussion. I think the channel's mature enough that we're not going to go into some sort of religious flame war. Um, and that we can actually have constructive dialogue around this topic. What I do want to talk about is a little bit um, about you know, just religion's history in general to, to finance. Um, I know with Christianity that usury is considered a sin. Now, what exactly is usury? That's where theologians have a bit of a debate. For a long time, usury was considered any form of interest, whereas nowadays it's kind of considered excessive interest. And this is something that even the law of the lands of most countries um, say that it's illegal to lend someone money and charge them an excessive amount of interest. Of course, what is an excessive amount is, is quite subjective. And that's where this does become a little bit of a gray area um, in, you know, in countries' laws and, and with Christianity. Um, whereas some of your other religions will just rule it out uh, in its entirety. Now, Christianity also had a little bit of a, a backlash against life insurance when it first came out. Because people were saying, I don't want to buy life insurance. That shows that I've got no faith in God. And only God knows when, when I'm going to die. And how can I profit off somebody else's death? Um, so it was considered as speculating against the will of God, and it was considered gambling. And in Christianity, these are two concepts or two things that you don't really want to do. Now, I don't know much about Islam, and that's where I'm, I am relying on you guys to answer in the comment section. But I think also in, in Islam, uh, gambling and speculating against the will of Allah is, is considered a sin. So what you have to do with or what theologians and I guess financial people also had to do was they had to structure their financial products or, or show that they had enough statistical certainty to show that these things were not uh, gambling and that you weren't betting on whether somebody's going to die or not, but rather that these life insurance products were a cooperative um, action taken by the community to safeguard widows and orphans. So it does become more of a philosophical debate, um, and there you, you are going to have differences of opinions. Um, some Christians might say life insurance is wrong. Some Muslims might say life insurance is good. Some Jewish people might say, uh, you know, something else. And, and that is the thing that you need to, to consider is you need to look at, okay, what is my, what does my religion say? And also what, because each religion has various different branches. What does the, the branch of my religion say? Uh, Catholics will say something to, different to, say, Protestants. Um, in Islam, you've also got the two big branches, Sunni and Shiite. And, and they will also might have, they might have a different, different outlook that you need to, to consider. So it's, it's an important question to, to ask yourself because the last thing you want to do is spend like eight years studying something and then you can't get a job because you're working in an area that contradicts your religious beliefs. So you want to think carefully just from, say, like a practical point of view. Um, there are places that do design insurance products or, or financial products that are in line with Islamic rules. Um, but you need to ask yourself, are those jobs available in whatever country you're staying in? If you're staying in a Christian country, then chances are that there aren't going to be a lot of financial companies designing um, you know, products that are in line with, with Islamic law. So you do need to take that into consideration. So even forget about, say, the logistics of or the philosophy. Think about the practicality um, of studying it as well. Um, there are other views. I mean, just looking on the Discord group, there were some guys who said, you know what, I see that it is maybe something like a wrong thing to do in Islam, but if I do enough uh, good deeds, it can maybe cancel that out. Uh, so there are people who are taking that route. Of course, not everyone will agree with that. Some or some other people might might say that's actually the only way to do it. 
Um, it is a very, it's a very sticky question that, that you have, have asked. Um, and I hope that this is, this is beneficial. It's not just me rambling about something that I really actually don't know much about. So therefore, I am going to say, do more research on your own. Um, but I do want to kickstart the dialogue because it is a question that I think a lot of people will be looking for. And hopefully our comment section below can point people in the right direction. So feel free to, to share links, um, to post arguments. Uh, but like always, guys, I mean, our channel, we are quite mature. Uh, we are respectful. So um, I'm confident enough that, that yeah, the comment section isn't going to go into a crazy flame war. Um, because at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, we, we're religious people, you know, strive to be righteous people. And, uh, and that's why it's always weird when they like go crazy on comment sections because they're like contradicting themselves. But anyway, let me maybe end the, the video off here. But like I say, it is, it is a big, big, big question. I'm not qualified to answer it, but I hope that this has kickstarted the discussion. And uh, I look forward to, to your, hearing your guys' views on it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and yeah, I'll make a video. Thanks guys. Cheers.